The entire Auburn team out in the middle of the field gathering around the seniors, the captains. We are moments away from the season finale. And it has certainly been a pleasure, and we're glad you have joined us throughout the year on Video Sports Network, and we look forward to next year. Scott Miller, Jim Fife, and Pat Sullivan at Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama. The Auburn team as they huddle around Doug Barfield. Joey Jones is one man dropping back for Alabama. He's standing at a moment around the 15 or the 20, so he could be. There's Joy. Doug Barfield on the sideline. Got his white Auburn cap on today. May bring a little good luck. Jeff Fagan, Joey Jones, and Joe Carter. Back for Alabama. Dave Blanks from Decatur, Georgia will kick it off. 57 degrees, humidity 40%, winds from the west at 14 miles an hour, gusting to 22, an absolutely uh, beautiful, clear day. So couldn't ask for anything better. Alabama is an 18 point favorite here this afternoon. I don't know if you could find many people who think that will, there will be that wide a gap when this final score is in. There seldom is when these two teams play. Blanks is ready. Joey Jones at the five, the 15. Out to the 20, 21 yard line. Tim Wood was one man in. There's Tim, number 34. And he really cracked him, I, I tell you. The Tide will have a first and 10. They'll start the ball game at their own 21 yard line. Scott jo Don Jacobs is starting quarterback for Alabama. He's come under a little fire the last uh, couple of weeks, but uh, he's a senior, and uh, I know Coach Bryant wanted a senior in there, not a freshman. Looks like Auburn's coming up trying to blitz, playing man coverage here. Split the tight end out. Jacobs has him set in the wishbone. Billy Jackson, front fumble. Auburn picks it up. Auburn has the ball at the seven yard line. Oh, what a big play. Vernon Blacker, Vernon Blacker. We were talking about Auburn blitzing and they brought everybody there and just really disrupted the, the wishbone as we see. Uh, Vernon Blacker comes in, Marvin Williams, and the, the ball's just stripped and uh, just a big play for Auburn starting right off. And they will bring it back. Well, you can't advance a fumble in college football. We see it again, Pat. As you say, the blitz obviously had an effect. Now, Alabama has been fumble prone under Jacobs. Let's see what Auburn does, and they're in the wishbone. Sam DeJarnett, the fullback. Well, Sam picked up about three on his own right there. Just good running. Looked like there wasn't anything there, and uh, they see him move the, the sticks a, a good three yards. There goes Sam off. Pat, this is sort of that Houston veer, more so than a wishbone that they're but in. But it, it is, and uh, Auburn's coming out with three wide receivers right here, so their change of sets up on the first two plays. All right, picked up three yards, second down and seven. Joe Sullivan sends a tight end in motion, who was split out as a wide receiver. That is James Brooks. Brooks out of bounds, set around the 10-yard line. Randy Scott, the linebacker, knocked him out. He got a good block out there on the corner, Pat. Edward West, the tight end, and went in motion. A, a different style play. Uh, he went in motion and made a good block. Uh, Auburn's got it first. Well, it, third and one. I third and one. I thought he, he, he didn't got miss it by front. much. Third and I guess well less than one inches over there. Third and inches. Yeah, Ed West, the freshman, was a tight end. He was split out and he went in motion. All right, they got the power eye. Sullivan has him set. And off to Brooks to first down. James Brooks, first and goal for the Tigers. Jackie Klein in on the stop. Really, Scott, uh, that was a good play. Auburn's the power eye, but what was real fortunate on that was that he didn't make the first down on the second down carry. It actually gave him another 
uh, down inside the 10. So instead of being first and goal on the, on the, the eight or nine, now they've got it first and goal on seven with four down. Tigers stay in the power eye. First and goal at the seven. Sullivan. Down to about the five yard line. Joe Sullivan couldn't find anyone open and he kept it. Tommy Wilcox, Warren Lyles brought him down. We talked about breaks and how uh, what role they would play in this game in the pregame. And of course, Auburn got as big a break as they could hope to get right here at the outset. Well, what they've got to do, they've got to put some points on the board, whether it's a field goal or a touchdown, uh, give them the momentum and uh, give them some hope. Three wide receivers again. Second down and goal from the five. Alabama's coming in a blitz. You see Ricky Tucker walking up there. Joe checking off. Now he sends Brooks in motion. Sullivan trips a bit, throws the Brooks. Touchdown! A beautiful cut. What a run by James Brooks. He caught it at the 10. He got around the guy at the five. And look at that bench. Look at that bench. They're really excited. Pat, he left two men in their tracks when he made his cut there at the five yard line and we'll see it again. Well, we ran this play when I was at Auburn and what you do, you send the tail back in motion and if, if Alabama's in a blitz, which they were, it brings them out of the blitz and it gets James one-on-one -on -one, uh, with the linebacker and of course it's gonna be hard to bring him down one-on-one. -on -one. Back to live action and Al Del Greco sticks it through there and Auburn has taken a seven nothing lead as the Southeast Going to be shocked when they hear that one early. Timeout on the field. The score, Auburn 7, Alabama nothing. We'll be right back with more Auburn 80. 13.05 remaining in the first quarter. Auburn 7, Alabama nothing. A five-yard Joe Sullivan to James Brooks. Touchdown pass. Tremendous move by Brooks to get it into the end zone. Billy Jackson fumbled the first play from scrimmage for Alabama. Vernon Blackard recovered it, and the Tigers pushed it in. And I bet you that Wilcox and De Niro are still wondering where James Brooks went. Well, James is a great back, and we've seen him, had the pleasure of seeing him all year and for the last couple of years. And, uh, it's just a great play on his part. Joey Jones, Jeff Fagan, and Joe Carter again back deep for Alabama. Jones, the deep man, standing at the five. Dave Blanks will... Get set to kick it off again. We've seen him all year. Dennis Collier on this special teams. I bet you he'll be somewhere around the football or the, the tackle. He's he, very aggressive. He's usually one of the first people down there. He really is. Uh, he's the outside man over here on the right, the contained man, but uh, I don't know how he does it. He just really wants to get down there and make a tackle. Coming down to Carter. At the 15, upended before he gets to the 20-yard line. That was Ricky Westbrook, the first man to hit him, and the Tigers are really sky high at this moment. Now let's see what this does to Alabama. Alabama is noted as uh, being a team that never really uh, gets that down under adverse conditions. Let's see how they handle this situation, being seven points behind Auburn. I bet Auburn come back with a blitz again. Jacobs, the quarterback, same back. Johnny field. Green's walking up. Jacobs to Jackson. Billy Jackson to the 26 yard line. Ken Luke, the free safety, brought him down. Pat, that was sort of like when you fall off a horse, you got to get right back on it. They gave it right back to Billy Jackson. Well, they did, and I'm sure that uh, Billy Jackson's got to play well if Alabama's going to win the ball game, and they want his confidence back. Picked up seven yards, second down and three. Jackson, Jones, Ogilvy in the backfield. Ogilvy, first down, and up to the 34, 35 yard line. That was Ken Luke and Clifford Tony in there, Major Ogilvy. And the Alabama forwards created a big hole right in the middle of the Auburn defense. Well, the first series, of course, the first play, Auburn really just blocked everything off and caused the fumble. These first two plays on the second series, Alabama's had two real fine holes. All right, they break the ball now. Ogilvy goes out to the slot. Handoff is to Jackson. Up to the 38 or so. Chris Martin, the middle linebacker, and on the stop. Alabama is a methodical football team. They like to take it and eat up huge chunks of yards on the ground. They've had trouble throwing this year. 
Nothing wrong with the running game. They really are big and strong on that offensive line. That's probably the most improved part of their football team. Bindro splits out to the left. Ogilvy is in the slot again. Ogilvy gets away from one man, but not another. Danny Skutak would not let him go. Vernon Blackard also in there. The first bit of deception Alabama has tried today. Well, I did, and uh, I'll tell you, if, if I was an Auburn assistant coach sitting up in the booth, that formation, I'd put Jesse Bendros there, great, great speedster wide receiver one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, that's going to make it tough for an Auburn back to have to cover him from that formation. Third down and five, wishbone and tap. Bendros to the right. Jacobs. <laughs> Great effort by the senior Don Jacobs for the first down. He stumbled when he got out into the open field. But well, it was a broken yeah. play, Scott. Uh, it was the, actually the wishbone option uh, going to the left, and Jacobs went to the right. Nobody was As there. As we see here, here the backs is. go there, and he's all alone and uh, makes a first down. He tripped or he would have had much more, I'm afraid. Alabama and Auburn territory. Two wide receivers, top and bottom. First pass, little low intended for Bart Kraut, the tight end, and again, that's the problem Alabama has had. Clifford Tony was in the area. Well, Auburn was coming in the blitz that time, and uh, Jacobs checked off at the line of scrimmage, and uh, Bart Kraut was a little bit open, but the ball was just underthrown. Kraut's a junior from here in Birmingham. Wishbone stays intact. Ogilvy. Major Ogilvy down to the 43 yard line. And Chris Martin, the middle linebacker, was over to make the tackle. Major doesn't carry the ball very much during the course of a game. He'll usually get you yardage when he does. Just a good, solid, steady football player. He really is. He's the Rocky Blair type back. He's a great blocker. He's a good pass receiver. And when he carries it, he ends up picking up four, five, six yards. And it is third down and five again. The second straight third down and five conversion attempt. Wishbone intact. Billy Jackson does not get it. Chris Martin, the middle linebacker, gained only three yards. Fourth down and two. Frank Warren also in. Will Alabama go for it? Looks like they're going for it. This is a big decision. If Auburn could stop them here, they're going to get excellent field position. Reserve center Don Holcomb in, Steve Mott out. Uh, they are going to punt, I believe, gentlemen. Now Jacobs out. is going to go back up under center. Jacobs, a quarterback, back up under center. Now we will drop back. Trying to draw Auburn offsides, Pat. Well, they are. Coach Bryant's done this a lot in his career. They're just going to let the, the, take the delay a game penalty. Had no intention of ever getting that snap off. They just wanted to draw the Tigers off. Well, they Auburn. almost did. Yeah. Auburn got a break because uh, one of their players did cross the line of scrimmage, but apparently did not make contact. He did not make contact. There is Bear Bryant down on the sideline. James Brooks is back for Auburn, standing at his 10. Woody Humphrey will attempt to get it away at about his 45. You know what happened the last time Auburn beat Alabama. The return is on. Brooks will let it go, bouncing into the end zone, and the Tigers will set up at their 20. The last time Auburn won this game was in 1972, 17 to 16, two block punts, and a Gardner jet field goal after trailing 16-0. And all that in the fourth quarter. 8.58 remaining in the first quarter. Auburn 7, Alabama nothing. Sullivan sends two wide receivers out. Peoples and Brooks in the backfield. Brooks. James struggles up to about the 24-yard line. The senior from Warner Robins. Tommy Wilcox, a strong safety, one man in. Picked up about four. Well, James picked that up on his own. Uh, Alabama really closed it down well. James ran in there and 
just made a good tough four yard run for him. no one and I mean no one has really been able to run consistently against Alabama this year their defense is super Auburn goes to the veer again Sullivan oh really hit down by Tommy Wilcox Wilcox really gave him a shot at about the 27. Talking about Alabama's defense, Jim, I was talking to one of their assistant coaches over in the booth before the game, and he said that this is the best Alabama defense since he's been there, and he's been there for the like the last eight or nine years. So I thought that was quite a compliment he paid to this defense. Third down and four, one back, two wide receivers, two tight ends. The back is Brooks. Intercepted. Jeremiah Castile. Well, Joe telegraphed his pass, and Castile anticipated it very well, Pat. Well, he did. It, it was a, a poor throw on Joe's part. Castile had played this. Auburn used this play successfully against Georgia last week, and uh, real fortunate Castile didn't take it all the way in. Jeremiah Castile is a sophomore from Central High School in Phoenix City, Alabama, right across the river from the home of VSN. Walter Lewis, the freshman, is now in at quarterback. Lewis inside the five to the four yard line. Marshall Riley in on the stop. Great job by the freshman. You got an idea of Lewis's quickness here. As we see again on the replay, I thought Auburn had him hemmed in. Well, it looked like they did, Jim, and uh, he just cuts it back up and he's real quick and he picks up seven yards on first down second down and three everybody in tight Ogilvy did not get in Vernon Blackard one man in Al Johnson was also there I believe down to the one yard line it'll be third down and one and they apparently can get a first down without going in. Oh, it's right on the goal line, it appears, from up here. Wishbone. Billy Jackson. Walter Lewis kept it, and he's in. Everybody thought Billy Jackson had it, including me, but Lewis was in for the touchdown. What a he play. is very deceptive, is he not? He's Let's, not. Boy, this was just a great fake on Lewis's part. The Alabama's in their wishbone offense, and as you see right here, he puts it in. Auburn thinks that uh, Jackson's got it, but uh, Lewis just takes it in for a touchdown. Great play on his part. I'm impressed by the way he handles the ball. A magician that time. Peter Kim will come in and try to tie this ball game up. Woody Humphrey will be the holder. Bear Bryant on the sideline. It's good. So there's a timeout on the field with the score. Alabama 7 and Auburn 7. We'll be right back with more Auburn 80. Early in the ball game, two big breaks have set up the touchdowns. Billy Jackson fumbles on the first play of the game. Auburn takes it in from inside the 20. Jeremiah Castile intercepts an Auburn pass right around the 10-yard line. And the tide led by Walter Lewis. Drive it in. Lewis in with a tremendous sleight of hand at the one yard line. It's obvious, uh, referring to Castile's play, that Alabama had really watched closely the films of Auburn because uh, Castile knew exactly what was coming. He sure did, and he anticipated it real well and, and made a great play. Pat, I remember you making the comment uh, last, uh, the last game, the Georgia game, that uh, Georgia a couple of times almost uh, intercepted that same play, and uh, Alabama comes through with this one. Well, I keep looking for Auburn to go to some kind of variation off the play. There's Sam DeJarnett. DeJarnett at the goal line. Remember, he had that 100-yarder against Mississippi State. Timmy Clark will kick it off for Alabama. Squib kick, try to keep it away. Up back has it at the 30. 34 yard line Jeff Cunningham Jeff Cunningham up to the 34 so Auburn will take over there Randy Scott and EJ Jr. man in EJ Jr. Uh, 
All-American. Auburn seven, Alabama seven. Charles Thomas is now the quarterback. Franklin to the left, Atkins to the right. Peoples and Brooks in the backfield. Alabama faking a blitz. Brooks nowhere. Byron Braggs, Warren Lyles, and Randy Scott right there. Picked up two all on his own. Forward motion there is that Alabama defensive line met him right there. Byron Braggs, uh, all SEC performer from Montgomery, Alabama. Franklin and Atkins to the left. Edwards to the right. Peoples and Brooks remain in the backfield. Second down and eight. That is Franklin in motion. Charles Thomas, 40, 45. Up to the 47-yard line and all the way up to about the 48-49 as Mike Clements brought him down. Give you an idea of Charles Thomas' speed and quickness. Pat, tell us about it. Charles is awfully quick. It's a, a counter-option type play, and as you see, he runs by one Alabama man, and uh, if he gets by this, this last guy, that makes a, a great play. Uh, if not, Charles Thomas goes all the way. Great play on Charles's part. Auburn back out in the Houston Veer. D. Jarnett now breaks it and goes in motion. Peoples. George Peoples, a hard hitter for about six yards. Thomas Boyd and Randy Scott, the linebackers there. Very quickly, Pat, for our viewers' sake, explain the difference in the wishbone and the Houston Veer. Well, it, it, they can line up the backs in the same formation, but the Houston Veer is a different type of blocking uh, than the wishbone, and that's simply the, the difference. Back to the eye, second down and four. Two wide receivers. Thomas to Brooks, 40. James Brooks out of bounds on the far side with a first down. Thomas Boyd knocked him out. We talked about Thomas Boyd in the pregame, and Pat, you could see the speed that he possesses there as he got to the outside to corral Brooks. He does. James Brooks is so quick, and Thomas Boyd uh, really comes over and forces James out of bounds. But it's another Auburn first down. Well, their offensive line's really coming off the ball. I think the thing that impressed me most about Auburn today is the way their offensive line is playing. Three wide receivers. Edwards will go in motion. Brooks. James up to the 35-yard line. Pick up of about three. And Jackie Klein, the first man in, and Randy Scott also there. There you see that big Alabama defense. 4-15 remaining here in the first quarter. We're tied at seven. Looks like Auburn's game plan is to run to the left away from Byron Braggs. He's so big and strong. It's probably a smart thing to do. Auburn set in the eye again. Fumble. Auburn fell on it. Philip Hall, the senior from Birmingham, offensive guard, fell on it, lost a yard, third down and eight. Well, I really look for Alabama to come with one of their blitzes to bring everybody here and try to force Auburn to make a mistake and uh, take over in good field position. Two wide receivers. Franklin is to the right, Atkins to the left. We see Wilcox sneaking up to come on the blitz. Here comes the cornerback up. Yeah, the corner's coming in, and he gets Brooks. That was Tommy Wilcox coming in, and he got Brooks. I think that was Ricky Tucker. Ricky wasn't Tucker. It? Looks like Auburn's going to go for the field goal. Well, that would make it a 45-7, about a 52-yarder here. Well, he's got the wind at his back. Al Del Greco, 50, 52, maybe just a tad beyond that. We've seen Auburn run a little shuttle pass. Watch it. Watch it. He made it. It's good. <laughs> Al Del Greco. The freshman, there he is, a 52-yard field goal. And Patrick, that was not your picture-perfect kick. But and any time you can get points on the board, uh, is Auburn's done. 
Blanks. Out to the 10. Gets away from a man. That is Joe Carter. Joe Carter really snowed under about the 15, 16 yard line. John Gibbons was there. Auburn has had good coverage on the kickoffs here this afternoon. They really have. And of course, one key to the ball game, I think, in even as early as this, Alabama's offensive line in the last series really kind of blew some holes open in the Auburn defense. And Auburn has got to, to do something to control Alabama's line if they're going to win today. Walter Lewis in at quarterback again. Two wide receivers now. They send Crowd out. Walter Lewis keeps it. And he's wrapped up after only a gain of a yard or so. Charles Wood would not be fake that time. Charles really made a great play. He came in behind. He's awfully quick for a linebacker and makes a great play to, to stop Walter Lewis. Picked up a yard, second down and nine. Kraut stays in close at tight end this time, and Mindros goes to the left. Lewis, the freshman. Lewis up to the 20-yard line. Danny Skutak was there. Would not let him pitch. And Auburn is taking away the pitch. I was just going to make that comment, Pat. Looks like they're trying to force Alabama's quarterback, whoever it is, Jacob for Lewis, to run the ball. Uh, their cornerbacks are coming up and taking the pitch man, and Auburn's depending on the linebacker and defensive end to fight off the blocks and get to the quarterback. Joey Jones runs in a play. Jesse Bendros comes out. Jones, a freshman split in from Mobile, Alabama. He splits to the left. Third down and six. Flag. They have taken too much time back there. Yes, sir. That'll be a five yarder. They sent in a play from the sideline, but didn't get it in in time to get them up, get them set, and get it off. And that's very un Alabama like. Normally, they don't make those mistakes. Well, it is. And anytime you send a play in from the bench, especially when the team's backed up, like on the 20 yard line, it takes the, the messenger a little longer to get in there, and Alabama just didn't get it off in time. Now it is third down and 11. Jones again splits to the left. Wishbone intact. Auburn bringing up a couple of corners. Lewis looking for Joey Jones. He's got him. Joey Jones may have went back and lost the first down. He did. He had the first down apparently and he tried to cut back and he'll be short. Lewis showed some great cool I thought under fire there. Well, Looked did. as though Auburn had him. Bernard Blackard was coming in, putting a good rush. One of the best things that happened, uh, if you're an Auburn fan, is now Alabama's got a punt into the wind. So Auburn should get fairly decent field position after this punt. Let's see if Auburn will go after it or they Jerry, don't indicate they will. Jerry Beasley back, Humphrey to get it off. Not a long one. Hits an Alabama player at the Alabama 48 and will be marked there. The Tigers will have good field position as we wind down 32 seconds remaining in the first quarter. It appeared that Joy Jones had the first down there, fellas, and just cut back and missed it by a couple. Joe Sullivan back in the game at quarterback. Need one more player. There we go, Mike Edwards coming in. Joe's going to have to run out and tell Mike what the play is now. Got Franklin in the slot. He goes in motion. Sullivan going long. Incomplete. Intended for Franklin down there, and it was in and out of the hands of Ricky Tucker. Had an excellent opportunity to pick that one off. I thought Tucker had that one. Well, I did. Uh, in defense of Joe, it really wasn't that bad a throw. Anytime you're throwing the ball deep, you got to get the ball out there Ricky Tucker was back in good position but if the ball was going to be caught it was thrown in the best play to be caught. Alabama has great respect for Franklin all week coach Bryant has praised him highly. Edwards is to the left. Franklin is out to take a breather. Atkins in. Along with Tim Davis. That is Davis in motion. And that is Peoples right up the middle. George Peoples. Down to the 40, 41-yard line. Gary De Niro in on the stop. 
Gentlemen, Gary De Niro saved a touchdown right there uh, with the man went in motion. Tommy Wilcox, uh, the strong safety, followed the motion man, and Gary De Niro saved a touchdown because there was nobody between Peoples and the goal line if he got if he got by De Niro. And that is the end of the first quarter here at Legion Field. When we come back, it'll be third and three. The score, Auburn 10 and Alabama 7. We'll be right back after this word from your local outlets. Second quarter at Legion Field, Auburn 10, Alabama 7. Third down and three at the Alabama 41. James Brooks, a five-yard touchdown pass from Joe Sullivan to open the game as Billy Jackson fumbled the opening play for Alabama. Auburn recovered, Vernon Blackard. And then Jeremiah Castile intercepted a Joe Sullivan pass. Alabama took over at about the Auburn 10 and right in that neighborhood. Walter Lewis, the freshman, took over and put it in from one yard out. And then Al Del Greco, another freshman, this freshman playing for Auburn, kicked a 52-yarder, and Auburn leads 10-7. Third and three. Atkins to the right. This is a big play for Auburn, even though it's just the start of the second quarter. If, if they can get a first down here, they can really uh, establish to themselves that they can play with Alabama. In motion, Brooks. Brooks driving up first toward down. that first down marker and should have it. James Brooks. Jim Bob Harris from Athens, Georgia, in on the stop. Scott, we, we can't really see the whole thing here, but Auburn was in a, a different formation than we've seen them in, and uh, they ran the option, and I think it kind of confused Alabama on the short yardage situations, and James made a real fine run there. First down at the Alabama 37, Edwards to the right, Franklin to the left, in the veer again. Right up the middle. Fumble, fumble, and Alabama has it. The ball just squirted away. Jim Bob Harris recovered it. Well, we talked at the beginning of the show that if Auburn's going to win, they can't have any turnovers, and they've had two so far, one that gave Alabama a touchdown and one that probably kept Auburn from scoring some points. See it again. I think he tried to give it to the first man through. DJ Arnett. DJ Arnett, and he just couldn't hold on to it. Well, it looked like the ball was put in there. Uh, Walter Lewis, again the quarterback. Lewis wants to throw. Sacks. Edwin Nelson, the junior from Tampa, Florida. Alabama's pass protection was completely nil and void. It broke down completely. Edmund did a good job of rushing in there. Lewis didn't have a chance, Pat. He really didn't. And Alabama had their sprinter, James Mallard, uh, running a deep post pattern. And it's going to be tough to cover that man as a world class sprinter that he is. He lost nine yards, second down and 19. Jeff Fagan and Lenny Patrick in the game now. Lewis. Look at that. 40. Midfield. Tony. He's got one man to beat. Clifford Tony saved the touchdown. The freshman from Bruton, Alabama. Walter Lewis went all the way down. He is as quick as I have seen all year. Well, what it is, he, he starts there. It's a design play by Alabama. What they're doing, they started like they were running the wishbone to the left. And the, actually, they blocked. The, to the offensive right guard, and uh, Lewis was designed to run back there, and he made a great play. Tony just kept him from scoring. First and goal at the four. Lewis. A handoff to Earl Collins, a sophomore fullback. Collins, a couple in there. Frank Warren, Marshall Riley, and on the stop. Earl Collins, a sophomore from Mobile, in for Billy Jackson at the fullback slot. Now Jackson comes back in. The starting backfield, with the exception of Lewis, back in the game. Jackson, Ogilvy, and Jones. Second down and goal at the three. And some confusion, and Lewis is going to have to call timeout rather than get caught for too much time again. Really a smart play on Lewis's part. You're down there with second goal on the two. And if he had a, a delay of game penalty, second and seven is much tougher than second and two. 
There's a pause in the action. Auburn 10, Alabama 7. We'll be right back. The Alabama sideline. You see the familiar figure of Bear Bryant with his hat on down below, his overcoat. Cool here today, certainly not uncomfortable at all, however. We've got 12.41 remaining in the first half. Auburn 10, Alabama 7. But Alabama has a second down and goal at the Auburn three-yard line. Might be asking a lot, but if Auburn could hold Alabama, it would mean a great deal to them, I think. One of the lovely Alabama cheerleaders. You're right, Jim. It, it'd give the defense a psychological lift if they could, you know, make a goal line stand. Alabama's gone to the power eye, which is probably a little different from them. Billy Jackson, the fullback. Ogilvy's the tailback. He's got it, and Auburn has him short of the goal line. Tim Wood was the man that made the hit. Now it is third down and goal at the one yard line. They stay in the power eye. Jackson the fullback, Ogilvy the tailback, the power back is Jones. Ogilvy, touchdown! Major Ogilvy. Just up and over he goes and uh, give him a six. They were in the same formation, the power eye that they were, uh, ran the same play, and Major just goes up and over for the touchdown. Peter Kim will try to tack on the extra points. Peter Kim from Hawaii. It, it is good, and Alabama jumps out to a 14-10 lead. Turnovers have led to all three of the touchdowns here today. Okay, we see just a straight handoff to Ogilvy, and he just powers his way over the top of the heap and rolls into the end zone. Makes it look routine. Alabama's up 14-10. Major Ogilvy, not only is he a fine football player, he is a fine person. Tremendous individual. Seems like he's been here for about 40 years <laughs> now, doesn't it? <laughs> I know it seems that way to Auburn fans. Timmy Clark will get set to kick off. Sam DeJarnett back at the goal line for Auburn. Last time Alabama uh, kicked off, they kicked a squib kick. I don't know whether they respect Sam DeJarnett or they were kicking into the wind and they didn't want to have a, a, a short kick run back. Here's Timmy Clark. 12-12 remaining in the first half. Got a good one going. Alabama 14, Auburn 10. They kick this one high. Coffee, I believe, at the 15, up to the 20, struggling up to the 23-24. Thomas Coffey. Coffee receives. EJ Jr. one man in. Also Robbie Jones in there. And Jeff Fagan. Joe Sullivan comes out. Tigers will have a first and 10 at their 22 yard line, trailing 14 to 10. Three wide receivers, two to the top of the screen. Edwards in motion. Sullivan. Up to the 25, 26, pick up of about four yards. Thomas Boyd and Jackie Klein in on the stop. Well, that was a wise play on Joe's part. They had a counter option type pass, and he was trying to hit Byron Franklin down the sideline. And uh, Franklin was covered, and he just took it down and ran with it and picked up four yards. Again, the three wide receivers, and Charles Thomas is in the game now at quarterback. And in motion. Thomas to Brooks. 39, James Brooks. When they look at the film of this game, they will look back at that one play and they'll say, had he been able to get away from number nine, or was that number eight? Number nine, Jim Bob Harris. James Brooks would have scored here, I think. Watch this on the replay. It's a great play on Jim Bob Harris's part because he did keep James Brooks from 
from uh, going a long way. First and 10 for Auburn, back into the veer. Auburn at the 39. DJ Arnett in motion. And off the Brooks again, right up the middle. James Brooks, seven, eight yards. Maybe more, maybe nine. Gary De Niro, Tommy Wilcox in there. Determined running on the part of James Brooks also. We get to see that one more time on the replay. He earned a lot of this one. Well, he did. It's a, a quick trap up the middle to James, and he busted up there so quick, and he almost broke that one again. So he's had two real fine runs in a row. Edwards to the right. Franklin and Atkins to the left. Franklin is in the slot. Peoples and Brooks. That is Franklin in motion. Peoples. George Peoples. First down, down to the 45-yard line, and believe it or not, Alabama, with that great defense, Auburn is on the ground moving the ball. E.J. Jr. in on the stop. They've ground out three big chunks of yardage on the last three successive plays, and they've got another first and 10 here at the Alabama 45. They are moving the ball. Well, they are. I look for Alabama to come with a blitz here. They usually do. When somebody starts driving on them, they try to force a mistake. Two wide receivers. The tight end is West. Charles Thomas in a little trouble. Thomas able to make it back to the line of scrimmage and picks up a yard or so. Thomas Boyd, Randy Scott, Gary De Niro in. It's Thomas Boyd, number 90, the junior, 6'3", 212 from Huntsville, Alabama. Great speed. He really is some kind of linebacker. Picked up a yard, second down and nine. Atkins and Franklin to the left. Franklin in the slot. Edwards to the right. Right up the middle with a fullback again. Peoples down to the 42-yard line. Byron Braggs was there. And Thomas Boyd. I can tell you, more times than not, you can say Thomas Boyd was in there, and you're going to be right. Third down and six. Third down and six at the Alabama 41. Willie Huntley is in for George Peoples, and now Auburn will have to call a timeout. There's Charles Thomas, some confusion, and the Tigers will call a timeout. And we will take a pause while there's a pause in the action. We'll be right back after this brief timeout. 8.50 remaining in the first half. Alabama 14, Auburn 10. When time is back in, Auburn will have a third down and six at the Alabama 41. Pat, the old quarterback, what did they do here? Well, I'm sure they've probably got one or two plays that they've been put in specially that they think will work against Alabama, and uh, I imagine they'll try one of those at this time. They've been moving the ball pretty steady. If they can pick up a first down here, they'll be in scoring range either for a field goal or a touchdown. So I look for them to come with uh, some kind of maybe trick play that they think will work. Here again, I think Alabama will be blitzing and trying to, to force Auburn uh, into a mistake and maybe even a turnover. Atkins to the right, Franklin to the left. Willie Huntley is in at fullback, and Brooks is the tailback. Charles Thomas, the quarterback. Here comes Tommy Wilcox cheating up. It looks like he's coming on a blitz. Here comes Wilcox. They pick him up. Thomas in trouble. Intended for Franklin over his head. Jeremiah Castillo was in on the coverage. Well, he had no other choice but to get rid of the ball, but that can be dangerous, Patrick. Well, it was really a great play on Charles's part. He scrambled around and uh, tried to hit uh, Byron over the middle, and if he had, Byron might have scored because he was coming on the crossing pattern. Alabama was coming on the blitz, and they actually forced Charles to throw the ball high. Braggs was putting pressure on. Bollinger back. Major Ogilvy back for Alabama. The Major will let it hit, and it will be downed at about the four-yard line. So, again, the good kick coverage by this Auburn team. Mike Edwards was down there to touch it down. Well, except for the two mistakes that Auburn's made, the pass interception and the fumble, they have really played real well. Walter Lewis, again the quarterback. Don Jacobs, the senior, started here this afternoon. Walter Lewis replaced him and drove Alabama, albeit one drive was a very short one, to two touchdowns. Jeff Fagan, Lenny Patrick in the backfield. Scott, we've got uh, Bendroff. Uh, or is that Mallard split out over there? It wouldn't surprise me if Alabama comes out and tries to throw a long bomb. That was Earl Collins, the fullback. A couple of yards. Marshall Riley was in on the stop. 
8.20 remaining in the first half and the clock running. 14-10, Alabama on top. Mallard splits to the right. Lewis give off to Collins again, and boy, he's really giving a shot right at the line of scrimmage. Vernon Blacker just makes a great play from his right defensive end. He comes down and takes on, uh, was that Patrick or, or Jackson, was, whoever uh, it was. Earl was Collins. Earl Collins. It was a great play by Vernon Blacker. He really closed down like it should be. There's Vernon. Sophomore from Gainesville, Texas. Third down and seven for Alabama, deep in their own territory. Well, this is a big play for Auburn. If, if they can... Quick kick. Quick kick, maybe. Waiting. Let's see. Yeah, Lewis just gets it off. Ken Luke will watch it bounce. Johnny Green says get away from it, and Alabama will down it, and Auburn will have good field position. Auburn has had the better of the field position for the most part. Well, they have, and one of the reasons that they have is they've taken the ball every time and made one or two first downs at least, and they've had an excellent kicking game. When Alabama's kicked off, Auburn's gotten the ball out of the hole, and then when Auburn's kicked off, they pinned Alabama back inside the 20. Charles Thomas in at quarterback again. Three wide receivers. Peoples right up the middle. Down across the 45 to about the 43 or 42-yard line. Warren Lyles and Jackie Klein in on the stop. Seven minutes remaining in the first half. If Auburn could score before the first half uh, ends, it would really give them a lot of momentum going into the dressing room. It will give them uh, confidence that they can come out and win the ball game in the second half because they've really played real well with Alabama so far. Again, three wide receivers. Brooks. Brooks down to the 40-yard line, just inside the 40 to about the 39. E.J. Jr. and... Randy Scott in there. Picked up three yards on the play. It'll be second down and uh, second down about three. Third down, pardon me, third down and three. Scott, I know I, I kind of sound repetitious, but I really believe Alabama will come with a blitz again and try to force Auburn to, to make a mistake. Third down and three. Again, the three wide receivers. Peoples in motion. Thomas caught by E.J. Jr. Jr. Not a well-executed play at all, but very well defensed on Alabama's part. Loses a yard. They came with the, the blitz again and just kind of disrupted the whole uh, Auburn play. 5.47 remaining in the half. Bollinger back to punt it away. Major Ogilvy standing deep for Alabama. Bollinger's going to hit this one into the end zone. Hits that artificial turf and bounces in, and Alabama will have it at their 20. 532 remaining in the first half. Alabama on top, 14 to 10. And there's a pause in the action. We'll be right back after this brief timeout. A new quarterback for Alabama, Alan Gray, the freshman. I'm pardon me, junior, junior, Alan Gray to junior. I got freshmen on my mind, so many of them here today. Alan Gray to junior from Tampa. Gray. Picks up about nine or ten yards. Ken Luke, the free safety in there. Surprises me to see Gray in there, Pat. He's trying to fight back after an appendectomy. Here's the same play that Alabama made a long run with Walter Lewis a while ago. Uh, they're pulling their left guard and trapping Auburn's right tackle uh, is what it, they're doing. And off to Billy Jackson. Jackson up uh, across the 30 for the Alabama first down. Chris Martin, middle linebacker in on the stop. 4.51. The clock counting remaining here in the first half. Junior Alan Gray underneath the center. Starting backs are behind him. Billy Jackson 
Billy Jackson up to the 45 yard line. Chris Martin was there to bring it down, and the senior from Phoenix City rumbles for a big game. Well, this is a wishbone in its purest form. Uh, Gray makes a good read on the double team block, and Jackson uh, makes a fine run and picks up a good 15 or 20 yards. That's just the wishbone in its purest form right there. Alabama driving to try to get some more points on the board before the half. We're down to 412. Gray down to the 46 yard line of Auburn and Vernon Blackard brought him down. Gray made a good fake here. We'll see on the replay. All these Alabama quarterbacks handle the ball exceptionally well. You see him fake it to Jackson and he sees room on the outside runs the keeper picks up a nice gain. Picked up about eight yards it'll be second down and two. Bendros to the left. Everybody else in tight. Same backfield. Major Ogilvy. Ogilvy driving toward that first down stick inside the 45 yard line. Tim Wood and Vernon Blackard in there on the stop. Scott, we talked about Auburn a while ago when they were driving. If, if they could score before half, it'd give them a a lot of incentive. Uh, same goes for Alabama. If they, if they score and go up uh, by, they say, uh, 11 points, it's really going to make it uh, a lot tougher on Auburn in the second half. Just short of the first down, Pat. It'll be third down in inches. Earl Collins is in at fullback for Billy Jackson. And also Walter Lewis is back in. Collins. Touchdown, Earl Collins. 45 I mean, yards. There was a hole in the left side, as you'll see on the replay. Nobody laid a hand on him before he got to the goal line. Look at that. Well, Auburn was stunning and uh, trying to scrape off with Tim Wood, the middle linebacker, and Alabama's offensive guard makes a, a good just brush block on him, and once he broke through, he had just clear sailing to the goal line. Peter Kim will come in to attempt the extra point. Woody Humphrey will hold. Kick is a good one. And Alabama leads 21 10 with 248 remaining in the half. And gentlemen, Auburn desperately needs to get something on the board before they go in. Well, I do. But one thing that they don't need to do is, is try to force something and, and give another turnover where Alabama can score more points. I know that sounds negative, but uh, right now they they need to be as aggressive as they can, but they sure need to be careful not to turn the ball over. Earl Collins right up the middle. I think uh, the magic hands of Walter Lewis also had a lot to do with that, with the way that guy runs it. There's Sam D. Jarnett. That's Timmy Clark, the Alabama kicker. Two forty-eight remaining in the half. Auburn will have the choice on the opening kickoff of the second half. Clark will kick this one deep and real deep. Into the end zone, D. Jarnett will keep it there, and the Tigers will be 80 yards away with 2.48 remaining in the half, trailing 21 to 10. Charles Thomas coming back in at quarterback. Two wide receivers, top and bottom. Brooks across the 20, 22, 23. EJ Jr., Jackie Klein in on the stop. Pat, could Joe be shaken up a bit? You know, he was taken out in the middle of a series after he had had a keeper and hasn't been back in since. 
I don't really think so. I think Charles has come in and moved him a little bit. Uh, I think their, their Auburn game plan was to, you know, alternate both quarterbacks as they've done for the past several weeks. And uh, I think it's just Charles's time to play. There he is. Second down and eight. It's Franklin in motion. Brooks. Up to the 30-yard line, first down, James Brooks. Up to the 32, 33, Warren Lyles and Thomas Boyd. And there's James after picking up the first down. Just a simple, simple little counter option play that Auburn's run so well all year. Uh, Charles faking to the fullback going left and running the option to the right. And anytime you can get Brooks outside, he's going to pick up some yardage. 152, the clock rolling, remaining in the half. Balls on the 33. Three wideouts. Tim Davis now in the game. Thomas throws it way over the head of Byron Franklin. Had some pressure back there. It was Jackie Klein, the right defensive tackle. Pass was intended for Franklin, but way over his head. Bring up that stops the clock with 135 remaining in the half. Brings up a second and ten. There's Charles Thomas as he calls the play in the huddle. Edwards to the right. Franklin and Atkins to the left. Brooks makes a good catch up to the 40-yard line. The pitch was a little behind Brooks. He was able to haul it in. Jeremiah Castile Paul Brooks in at the 40. Still the Picked up about seven yards, be third and three. 117, 116 remaining in the first half. Here you see James Brooks with the jersey just about gone. Three wideouts again, two to the bottom of the screen, one to the top. 104, 103. Here comes Wilcox walking up the blitz. He backs up a bit now. Over the middle for Tim Davis, completes. Davis down to the 43-yard line of Alabama. 47 seconds. Jeremiah Castile in on the stop. We really can't, probably won't be able to see it here, but uh, I don't think this play was designed to, to go to Tim Davis. Uh, Alabama was blitzing, and Tim Davis just shot right up the middle, waving his arm when he saw that the safety came, and Charles just threw it to him. Just a good play on both of them's part. Clock running, 35-34, Auburn with two timeouts left. Three wideouts again. There comes Wilcox on a blitz. Got a man, Franklin, open. Touchdown! Touchdown. Oh, my! Charles Thomas to Byron Franklin, who got behind Ricky Tucker. You had to wait because it looked like Tucker was going to bat it away, but Franklin hauled it in with 23 seconds to go in the half. This was just a, a great individual effort on both Charles Thomas and Byron Franklin's uh, part. Alabama was coming in a blitz and left one-on-one -on -one Byron Franklin. And uh, the ball was a little bit underthrown, but he makes a great catch. And that's really going to give Auburn some incentive to, going into the second half. See it again. You see Tommy Wilcox coming there a little bit in your picture uh, on the blitz. and. That forces one-on-one -on -one coverage with the cornerback, and Tucker just can't keep up with Franklin one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, what a big play. Byron Franklin. Auburn has had to call a timeout. 21-16, and they will go for two, I would imagine, Pat. Yep, there comes Thomas going for two. It would make it 21-18 with a successful two-point conversion. Oh, what a big play, Thomas to Franklin. Well, I'm sure it's probably surprised a lot of Alabama people that Auburn's been able to score 16, possibly 18 points on them in the, on Alabama's defense in the first half. All right, going for two, two wide, three wide receivers. Franklin is to the left. Thomas with an audible. Peoples. He went right in. Nobody touched him. <laughs> it's good. Well, that fooled me. I thought Charles Thomas had the ball. He went right in there. They didn't touch him. It's 21-18. Uh, that was the veer play, and 
course, James Brooks was going out on the option play, and Charles reads it perfect and gives the ball to people. And as you see, they think Charles is going to option to James. And uh, just a great play on Auburn's part. Alabama did not lay a hand on him. Untouched. Two-point conversion. 21-18. Auburn has fought back here. What a tremendous game in this first half. We have 23 seconds to go in a half. This half may not be over yet. We, <laughs> we have some more before. There's the Auburn team on the sideline. Auburn will get the ball in the second half. A big Charles Thomas to Byron Franklin touchdown pass with 23 seconds. George Peoples with a two-point conversion run. Listen to that Auburn crowd. Joey Jones, deep man for Alabama. Well, Alabama's expecting Auburn to kick some kind of squib kick, which is probably the smart thing for Auburn to do. Alabama with everybody up tight. Dave Blanks will kick it off for Auburn. Alabama with the... Jones only back at about the 13-yard line. He's going to loop it up there. That one's up for grabs. Jones calling for the fair catch. That's your heads-up play. Most, uh, most people don't know you can do that, but you can. And Joe Carter actually came up with it with uh, Jones calling for the fair catch. Scott Riley was there making sure he didn't go anywhere. 21-18. Got to say that Auburn has shown a never-say-die attitude here in the first half. They've been down. They could have folded, but they're Where, hanging in. Where'd you go, Fife, to draw that play up downstairs or something? That's right. I had to give them some <laughs> advice. Don Jacobs is in, and he's just going to fall on the football, and Alabama fans boo. The Alabama fans let out the old Bronx cheer as the clock winds down here in the first half. You know, I can remember uh, back several weeks ago in being in Birmingham when Alabama was going so strong, and some of the Auburn fans were a little upset at the Tennessee game. We heard a few boos. They were talking about Alabama people didn't do that, but I thought I heard a few just a few minutes ago. I did too. Anyway. I don't understand that. Sure sounded that way. Boy, what a first half of action here in Legion Field. That is the end of the first half of play with the score. Alabama 21, Auburn 18. We'll have halftime activities following this. Can I correct myself? <laughs> now, you, now, Byron worked awfully hard to get that touchdown pass, and you took it away from him and the two-point conversion. I should be ashamed. I'm sorry. It's 21 to 18. That's all right. This, that's your one mistake for the season. 21-18. <laughs> Alabama on top here at halftime. We had a tremendous first half, and Auburn will receive here in the second half. James Brooks started it out with that uh, five-yard touchdown pass from Joe Sullivan, then the one-yard Lewis run. Del Greco, a 52-yarder. Major Ogilvie, a one-yard plunge. Earl Collins went 45 yards for Alabama. And then the 42-yarder, Thomas to Franklin with 23 seconds and Peoples for the two-point conversion. That's where we're at. And again, I guess we can parallel the second half, Pat, to the first half. It's important to Auburn to get off to a, to a good start here in this half. Well, I, I think that uh, if they can drive the ball even if they don't score make a couple of first couple of first downs and and keep keep get Alabama in the hole uh, I think that the really the key is not going to be how well Auburn does on the first offensive series but how well Alabama does on the first offensive series that's Timmy Clark the kicker for Alabama you saw Sam D. Jarnett uh, a moment ago number 26 back at the goal line for Auburn they call it the Iron Bowl here in Birmingham 78,000 people and no one is neutral. No way. Timmy Clark. Timmy Clark just about got three on a kickoff there, didn't he? Out of the end zone, and Auburn will take it on the 20. Charles Thomas will start at quarterback in the second half. 30 minutes of football remaining for the Tigers in 1980. Alabama will go on, of course, to play in the Cotton Bowl against Baylor. Two wide receivers to the top of the screen. Peoples and Brooks in the backfield. James is the tailback. Peoples 
about four yards up to the 24. E.J. Jr. was there. Jr., the senior All-American in from Nashville, Tennessee. Thomas Boyd also in on the stop. You know, unless I'm mistaken, Auburn only had 10 men on the field to start the, the second half. There's a little bit of Aubie and the Elephants squaring off on the sideline. Gets him in a full grasp on a little wrestling there. Thomas Peoples again. George Peoples, two plays in the first down. Scott, I, I know why I'm, I was confused what Auburn's done. They come out, uh, they've got just a guard and tackle to the weak side. They don't even have an end on, on one side. They've got the, the tight end and two wide receivers to the same side. And it's kind of confused Alabama a little bit, and they're running uh, right straight at uh, just the guard and tackle. Well, he says his knee went down just short of the 30, so it'll be third and inches. Third and inches, the power eye. Brooks got the first down. James Brooks across the 30-yard line. E.J. Jr., the right defensive end, and on the stop. Shadows begin to creep across the field here at Legion Field. Wind swirling around down there. First and 10. Ball just across the Auburn 30. Three wide receivers, two to the bottom of the screen. Franklin is down there with Atkins. Thomas, Charles Thomas for about five yards. The junior from Douglasville, Georgia. It was brought down by Jackie Klein and turned, Ricky uh, Tucker. He turned what appeared to be a mistake into a five, six yard game. That was really a good play on Charles's part. Thomas lost his shoe. He's going to have to come out. As we see here, it's uh, the option play, and he, he rides the ball in, and the uh, end was crashing down. He almost got him for a loss, and he kind of broke one tackle and picked up three or four yards. That's Joe Sullivan in, second and four. Thomas lost his shoe, had to go on and put it back on. That's West in motion. Brooks, James Brooks, driving up to the 40-41, really slammed down there. Gary De Niro and Jeremiah Castile in. Drove up close to that first down stick. And will we have a measurement? I believe that's what they're going to do. Well, I got that one right. Now you guess whether it's the first down or not. I think it's short by <laughs> half a length of the football. Yeah, there it is. The old eagle eyes of the quarterback again, and Phil Tedder, the spotter, blew it. Going to ask me the score? <laughs> no, we... We don't want to give you a too difficult a task right. here. <laughs> it, it's Saturday. You do remember that. Yes. Okay. It is short, as you saw. Third down and inches. You saw how much. Maybe a little keeper. Power eye. Everybody in tight. Castile. Brooks up and over should have the first down. Depends on where they mark it, but it looks like Brooks was up and over, had it in the air. Tommy Wilcox and Randy Scott. James it's a first down. Well, James has got to go out for a little jersey repair, as we see there. It's a power eye, and he just goes airborne and, and picks up the first down. It's a courageous run, I tell you. Charles Thomas back in now. He was able to put his shoe back on, and three wide receivers split out. Franklin and Atkins to the left, the bottom of your screen. Thomas, the D. Jarnett, the freshman is thrown for a loss. Byron Braggs, the all SEC defensive uh, tackle, in on the stop. Braggs really makes just a great play there for a man that's 6'6 and weighs about 265 or 270. Uh, and to run down the state high school 60 yard dash champion, that says something. It's like a brick wall moving down the highway at you. Second down and 12, lost to. Two wide receivers this time, top and bottom. Thomas being pressured, flag, and he is down. The flag is dropped in that area. Most of the time indicates holding. We'll wait and see. Braggs brought him down. Lost five yards. That's not holding, but it is against Auburn. Well, it's blocking. Uh below the waist and uh, that, that's a big penalty that really hurts all. You 
officials discuss it with Randy Scott. Decline, they'll take the sack. Illegal work declined by Alabama. They lost five yards. The sack lost five yards. And the down. It'll be third down. And about 17. Three wide outs. Two to the bottom of the screen. Thomas in trouble, and he's down. That was Byron Braggs. And Thomas remains down. Looks like he fell on that shoulder, and boy, that's really a tough thing for Charles to happen. There he is. He's in, in pain on the, on the ground. He's had trouble with that shoulder all year. Major Ogilvy will drop back for the punt from Allen Bollinger. Fourth down and all day, fourth and 27 or so. Maybe we can get an idea of what happened on the replay. His protection broke down completely. Here comes Braggs, who's playing inspired football in the second half, and Charles actually lost his footing, and Braggs came in on top of him and apparently twisted that shoulder. Charles is trotting off. There he is. We won't know for a while whether or not He'll be all right, able to get back in this thing. Bollinger will drop back. Major Ogilvy. Alabama should get good field position out of this. They lead by three. Ogilvy. Fair catch at the Alabama 42-yard line, and the Crimson Tide will take over there. 10:47 remaining in the third quarter. Alabama 21, Auburn 18, and we'll be right back after this brief timeout. 10:47 remaining in the third quarter. Alabama with a three-point lead and with a football. Walt Lewis is back at quarterback. There you see him, the freshman. Starting backfield. Backs at least. A little flea flicker back to Lewis. And he will be sacked. He had Mallard, the sprinter, right down the middle. Jerry Beasley, good coverage there. Frank Warren and Vernon Blackard in on the stop. He, and I don't see how he held on to the ball. Well, Chris Martin probably saved a touchdown. He really came through on the blitz. It's uh, just a flea flicker play that you see every Sunday by some NFL team, and Chris Martin's really coming. And uh, Bendros was sprinting down a, a, on a post pattern, and uh, it, it could have been a, a big play for Alabama. Second down and 24. Billy Jackson. Billy Jackson hit at the 30 and driven back. Clifford Tony and Charles Wood in on the stop. So it will be third down and about 22. Third down and 22. Darrell Wilkes is in the game. Ken Luke out for Auburn. Wilkes will drop back to play a little center field here. I wonder if they'll go to the quick kick again. They did earlier in the first half. Yeah, there he goes. Wilkes got to hurry back. Walter Lewis. He's going to throw this time. Was he in bounds? Yes, he was. He'll be way short of the first down, however. So Alabama, a little variation from that quick kick. Bart Kraut, the tight end, caught it. He'll be. About 11 yards shy of the first down, and Alabama's Humphrey will have to come in and boot it away. Jerry Beasley back. Auburn called timeout. Wonder if they didn't have enough men on the field or something. Well, they only, you may be right, Pat. They only had 10 out there. James. I think that could have been it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, I don't know. Maybe they had enough. But it could be a costly timeout down toward the end of the game. There's Chris Martin. James Brooks is now back deep for Auburn. Alabama 21, Auburn 18, 922 to go in the third quarter. Scott James has really played well against Alabama his first three years, and of course he's playing real well today. He's on his way to another 100-yard game against him. It'd sure be nice to, to end his career 
against Alabama by breaking a long one, and he certainly has that capability. There he is, the all-time leading Auburn rusher. That's Woody Humphrey. Sun could be a problem down there, Pat. Humphrey gets it off. Going to let it hit and will take a right turn without a turn signal and out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. Just hit and took that right turn. So the Tigers will start there at their 27 yard line. Joe Sullivan will be the quarterback. There you see that Alabama defense shot from the right behind the Alabama bench. Two, two wide receivers to the top of the screen. Peoples, the fullback, up to the 30 for about three yards. Randy Scott and Jackie Klein in there. Pat, they've had some success with this, that fullback dive today. Well, they have. I, the offensive guard and center for Auburn are really doing a good job against Alabama's nose guard and, and two defensive tackles as far as blocking them straight on. And uh, that's why that play's been successful. Picked up three, second down and seven. Edwards and Franklin to the left. That is Edwards in motion. And that is Brooks. And that is Alabama's swarming defense. Randy Scott over there. Byron Braggs, Jeremiah Castile. Well, it looks like, you know, they've really been running that right side so far the, the, the first half. And uh, maybe they went to the well one, two, too many times. This is a big play for Auburn. Yeah. They, they, they need to make a first down. Alabama's going to be coming on the blitz. And, uh... It's third down and seven. Huntley is in the game for Peoples. Whiteouts at the top and bottom of your screen. Sullivan. It is complete, short of the first down, uh, apparently. Willie Huntley out of the backfield, and Willie couldn't quite make it to the stick over there. He'll be short, a couple of yards. Yard and a half. Well, one reason uh, Willie caught that ball so close to the sideline is Alabama Braggs was in there on Joe, and it, it made him to, to pump fake and then deliver the ball under him. And by that time, Willie got over to the sidelines and didn't have a chance to run with it before he stepped out of bounds. Bollinger into punt again. Major Ogilvy back for Alabama. It's a high kick, not a very long one. Ogilvy will let it hit, and it will take an Auburn roll and a roll and a roll. And out of bounds, or at least down, all the way inside the 20. Jerry Beasley over there to touch it down. And so, again, Alabama will start in the deep in their own territory. Walter Lewis, Joe Jones, Major Ogilvy, and Billy Jackson in the backfield for the Tide. 7.39 remaining in the third quarter. Alabama 21, Auburn 18. Bendros goes to the right. Billy Jackson up to the 21 22 yard line. That big fullback, six foot, 214 pound senior, Phoenix City, Alabama. He was stopped by Danny Skutak, Central High School in Phoenix City. Wayne Trawick, the coach over there, he's turned out some good ones, and he's got uh, two or three players on this Alabama team from Central High School in Phoenix City. Bendros to the left. Picked up five yards, second and five. Backfield the same. Again, Billy Jackson, and he's really popped, but he drives forward for. I don't two, know whether we'll, we'll see it or not, Scott, but Billy Jackson and Scott Martin, I mean, Scott Martin, uh, Chris Martin, really had some kind of collision there. We get to see the collision on the replay here, Pat. Third down and two. Joey Jones in for Bendros. Third and two. Big defensive play. Walter Lewis still has it. Walter Lewis has the first down. And a fine open field tackle by Jerry Beasley. Saved the touchdown. Walter Lewis has been tremendous here today. Well, this was just their basic wishbone that, that they run. Walter fakes into Jackson. 
He keeps the ball, and Jerry Beasley, I don't know how good we'll get to see it, but he fought off a blocker and saved a touchdown by making a great play. Yeah, Beasley had that blocker out there in front of him between he and Lewis, but he was able to find him off. That was Bendros out there. Bendros goes to the left. Alabama driving, leading by three. Lewis wants a pass. He throws incomplete. Ken Luke almost picked it off. It was intended for the tight end, Bart Kraut. There was pressure on Lewis. There's Ken. He nearly hauled one in. Could not quite find the handle. He's a senior. Mobile, six foot, 188 pounds. Second down and 10. Bendros to the left. Kraut the tight end on the right side. Lewis again. He faked it to Earl Collins, the fullback, and picked up six, seven yards. Tim Wood, the linebacker there. That's that little counter play they're doing off the wishbone and, and trapping, and they've had really good success with that play. Jackson Ogilvy Jones back in the backfield. Say his knee went down after a five-yard pickup, so it will be third and five at the Alabama 46, and yet another big third down conversion attempt. Here late in the third quarter. Lewis to Jackson. Driving toward the first down marker. Boy, he's a powerful runner, isn't he? He really is. He's a big man. He runs low to the ground, and it's tough to bring him down. Chris Martin was in on the stop, and it's enough, just enough, for the Alabama first down. So the tide keeps this drive alive with 5-11 remaining in the third quarter. 21-18, Alabama on top. Alabama came in here a 18 point favorite in most quarters. Bendros to the left. Jackson Ogilvy Jones behind Lewis. Billy Jackson. Not much this time. Vernon Blackard and Danny Skutak in. There's Vernon getting up off the bottom of the pile. Danny Skutak, 59. A couple of yards, second and eight. 440, 439 remaining in the third quarter. Half the stadium drenched in sun, the other half now in that cool shade. Lewis going to keep it himself. As that play they've been running all afternoon, and he's a couple of years, two, three yards short of the first down. Edmund Nelson and Clifford Tony in on the stop. Would you classify that as a quarterback draw, Pat? It's not actually. It's a quarterback counterplay. Uh, you see, the the halfback Auburn runs it a little bit with Brooks, a, a quick trap. And what what Alabama's doing is it's just a quick trap blocking that they're doing, except the quarterback is running instead of the halfback. Third and three at the Auburn 42-yard line. Lewis. Lewis driving down toward the first down stick again. He had. The back trailing, but he kept it. Vernon Blackard in. Chris Martin also in there. Well, he might have made the first down there, but he sure earned it. He paid the price, didn't he? Really got popped by those two guys coming in. And another Alabama first down. This has been one of those Alabama drives where they just eat up the clock and the yards. And the Auburn defense has been on the field a long time. Then Dros goes to the left again. Jackson Jones Ogilvy behind Lewis. Lewis, oh, is he hit? Edmund Nelson. Well, Skutak. Danny Skutak came in from the linebacker slot and really popped it. Marvin Williams also in there, but Skutak was the guy that said hello first. Lost a yard. Second and 11. 305, 304. The bone intact. Walter Lewis again. Everybody went for Billy Jackson. Chris Martin in on the stop against Lewis. Man, oh man, have they run that play well today. We get an isolated view of Chris Martin from his linebacker position coming over to help make the tackle. I'm, I'm telling you, from up here, you just uh, you really have to wait. See who has the football down there. Lewis does a tremendous job. He really is. Auburn needs to, to rise up and stop Alabama right here. 
Third and four. Fourth third down conversion attempt in this drive. Lewis. Lewis will not make it this time. Danny Skutak again with a big play. And I think Danny Skutak has Lewis's number because he's hit him twice very hard out on the corner. Fourth down and six, and Peter Kim will check in to try to give Alabama a six-point lead. So a big defensive stand. Danny Skutak with the two big plays. It will be a 51-yarder. El Greco had a 52-yarder in the first half. It will be short. No good. It was true enough, but it was not long enough. 139 remaining in the third quarter. Alabama 21, Auburn 18. We'll be back after this brief timeout. So, Peter Kim, the kid from Hawaii, not quite enough leg there as it was true, but short. 139 remaining in the third quarter. Alabama hanging on to the three point lead. Joe Sullivan in at quarterback again. Three wide receivers, two to the top, one to the bottom. That's a fullback, Peoples again. Not much this time. Alabama's shut that down the last couple of times. Jackie Klein, the man to hit him. And a clock rolling. Inside a minute and a half in the third quarter. Sullivan gets the play from the sidelines. DeJarnett, Sam DeJarnett is now in the game. Must be going to the wishbone. You called it. Going to the three backs. Two wide receivers. DeJarnett in motion. And off is the Brooks. Byron Braggs met him. Tommy Wilcox in there. Tried to get D. Jarnett in the motion going to the left. Brooks back to the right. Byron Bragg stayed home. 47 seconds remaining in the third quarter. The clock running. Third down and seven. You know, Alabama's been coming real hard this second half. Now might not be a bad time for a, a little screen. Third and seven. Receivers at the top and bottom. People's tripped. People Good stumbled job. forward. He had a huge hole, but he lost his balance. He doesn't trip. He picks up the first down. He's and more. And more is right. Alabama will call timeout to try to make Auburn kick into that win, apparently. 16 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Bama with a three point lead. Major Ogilvy will be back for the tide. George Peoples had a big hole, but he just lost his balance. A little more than a quarter to play at Legion Field. 21-18, Alabama on top. Real struggle. Turnovers have played a key part in this ball game. Alan Bollinger, the junior from Montgomery, will drop back. Auburn wouldn't do anything like throw from punt formation, would they? I don't think so at this stage. I would be surprised. Of course, that's why I'm up here. Bollinger has done it on one other occasion this year, if you recall. Since I don't think so, he'll probably heave it. Bollinger is back. There he is. Now he's kicking. Ogilvy will let it hit at the 30, and it will take an Alabama bounce this time up to the 33 where they'll mark it. Alabama will take it there with eight seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Now Alan Gray will come in at quarterback. Jeff Fagan, Earl Collins, and Lenny Patrick. So a reserve backfield for Alabama. The speedster, Mallard. To every, the right. time, every time he comes out there, I just got to think they're going to try to get him the ball some way. Ray's going to give it to the fullback, Collins, and he's not going to get much at all in the quarter will end as John Gibbons was there to meet him. And we have played three at Legion Field. The end of the third quarter, the score, Alabama 21, Auburn 18. We'll be right back after this message from your local outlet.
The fourth quarter begins at Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama. This is Scott Miller along with Jim Fife and Pat Sullivan. Auburn, Alabama. Alabama 21, Auburn 18. That was the score at halftime. The first half, the scores, uh, the, most of the scores at least, came as a result of turnovers. The second half has been free and thus no scoring. Just kind of slugging it out between the 20s. Alabama will have a second and nine. The ball is at their own 34-yard line. And the Alabama cheerleaders down below us. Second and nine, Alan Gray, the junior, played some earlier in the first half. They break the bone. Gray is caught. Scootak. Danny Skutak again. Oh, he's having a great game. Danny Skutak, two huge plays earlier in the third quarter and a big one there. As you see here, Alabama broke the bone. They came in motion in an option, and Skutak just blitzed through and got to Gray before he could do anything. They're sending Ogilvy in with a play. Uh, Alabama might be penalized for delay a game. It's taken a little while to get it in. Taking a lot of time. It is third down and 15. Ogilvy is in the game. Third and 15. Gray, that same counter option by the quarterback, and it did not work this time as the Tigers stayed home. Marvin Williams in on the stop and maybe uh, going to the well once too often with that one, Pat. Well, Alabama certainly had big yardage with that play today, and uh, Marvin just stayed home and, and played it and made a good play. Everybody's up. Ten people on the line. Jerry Beasley is back. He gets it away. Woody Humphrey. Beasley the fair catch at the Auburn 40, and the Tigers would... Excellent field position with 13.49 remaining in the game. Pause in the action, and we'll be right back after this brief timeout. 13.49 left in the game. Alabama 21, Auburn 18. Charles Thomas, the quarterback. Both sides of the stadium, all around, they're up. People's in motion. Thomas. Incomplete. Intended for Peoples, who went in motion out of the backfield. Gary De Niro was in on the coverage. There's George Peoples, second and ten. George, the junior from Tampa. The Alabama sideline, Alan Gray, junior quarterback. There, a little homework there, Pat, on the sidelines. Well, what they, when Auburn came through, Scutak came through on on the uh, blitz. It looked like that had an HB pass and half, halfback pass. Halfback pass. We might watch for that. Second down and 10. Blitz. Randy Scott blitzed and nailed him at the 35 yard line. You can see it coming all the way from up here. Well, they do that. Alabama, every time that they get you back or, or make a play, they, they need to force something. They come with that blitz, and Scott just came through there and boom. <laughs> Right on Sam DeJarnett before he had a chance to go anywhere. Sam's going to go back and tell Charles not to call that play anymore. <laughs> Third down and 14, so now the Alabama defense standing up. That is Franklin in motion, and Auburn jumps twice. Stevenson jumped, and then someone jumped on the, the other end. George Miller. Stevenson jumped first and a costly penalty to say the least they had third and about 15 now it's third and 20. The bad thing about it it adds five more yards if Auburn has to punt field position field position 13 7 left in the game. Now let's see who Alabama shoots in there this time if they do. Franklin in motion. D.J. Arnett, only about five yards. Auburn not taking any chances in there. Lyles, Klein, E.J. Jr. in on the stop. And again, Bollinger will have to come in and punt it away. Well, these two teams have really been slugging it out here in the second half. The 
Major Ogilvy back. There's Alan Bollinger. Alabama with 10 people on the line. They drop back now. It hits and will bounce straight up in the air. Dennis Collier will down it at the Alabama 34-yard line. So again, the Auburn defense will come in and try to stifle this Alabama offense and get something moving with 12-31 remaining in the ball game. Walter Lewis back in at quarterback. Bindros goes to the right. Jackson, Jones, Ogilvy, and Lewis, the backfield. Lewis looking for Bendros. He gets away, gets away from Chris Martin, but not again. Boy, this kid is really quick back there. Auburn had three guys, and Vernon Blackard, I think, finally tripped him up. Pat, does he remind you a bit of Condridge Holloway? He does. He's so quick, and uh, he just makes a great play to keep from not losing another 10 or 15 yards. Just a play action pass. Alabama runs out of the uh, wishbone. Uh, Chris Martin's coming in there. Looks like he's got a shot at him. He's finally Edmund catch. Nelson Edmund. just trips him up. Edmund Nelson was the guy who finally got him. 11 57. He lost five yards. Second down at 15. One back. Two wings. Lewis, the draw. Lewis makes it up. About eight yards. Vernon Blackard then on the stop. Just went back and ran that quarterback seven draw. Yards. Seven or eight yards. And it will be a third down and eight. Let's keep in mind what we saw on the chalkboard a while ago. The halfback option pass. Now might be a place to use it. There you see Joey Jones, number four, who brought in a play. Third down and eight. 11-19 remaining in the game. Jones to the left, wishbone intact. Lewis pressured. He throws. It is complete. Complete to Joy Jones, a freshman from Mobile. This was really a great play on Walter Lewis's part. It faked the dive and just a play action pass. Vernon Black is right in his face, and he delivers it right in there, just a perfect place. And big play by Alabama. Big play by the fresh. That kid. Well, by this time of year, you don't think of him as freshman, but he hasn't played a whole lot. He is really doing a super job today. Wishbone again. Right up the middle. Billy Jackson, Ricky Westbrook, and on the stop. Blew through there for about five yards. Second down and five, and now the clock becoming a factor. 10:27. Left in the game, Alabama with a three-point lead, the football, and they're driving. Billy Jackson ties his shoe and back up in the fullback slot. Major Ogilvy, a couple of yards short of the first down. Chris Martin, the first man in there. They give him three yards. It'll be third down and two. Here's the time for your halfback pass. Inside 10 minutes now, 954, 53, 52. Jones to the right, Ogilvy, Joe Jones, and Billy Jackson in the backfield. Third and two. Lewis. That kid does it again. Walter Lewis with the first down. Ken Luke, the free safety, and Chris Martin, the middle linebacker there. Well, he fooled me, I know that, because I thought he gave it to Jackson. One of the Auburn defenders did. Blackard hit him, hit Jackson Blackard very hard. came down, and Walter just made a great play. Now, at this point, the Auburn defense has to start thinking turnover. Alabama driving deep in their Auburn territory now. Lewis, that option, counter, not much again. Tim Wood, the linebacker. Pat, they pretty much shut that down the last couple of times they've tried to run it. Well, I have. Auburn was coming on a blitz that time, and uh, Chris Martin or somebody just filled the hole, Tim Wood. The Auburn defense. The burden is squarely on their shoulders right now. 8.51, and the clock running left. 21-18, Alabama on top, second down and nine. Joey Jones to the right. Ogilvy, Jackson, Jones. Behind Don Jacobs. Billy Jackson. 
Billy Jackson across to 30 to the 28. Chris Martin there. So Don Jacobs came in. I can only think that perhaps Lewis uh, went to the bench for some instruction or may have lost a jersey because he's coming back in the game now. Lewis is back in. Well, the halfback pass here. <laughs> we keep looking for that. We saw it on the on the chalkboard. It's well, if we if we keep looking for it, maybe they won't throw it. <laughs> Third down and six. Got the two wing men. Lewis is going to drop straight back. Screen. Billy Jackson. Billy Jackson did not get the first down. He's down to the 25. He'll be two yards short. Danny Skutak and Chris Martin again and on the stop. I believe they're going to go for it. Well, here we go. 746 and the clock running left in the game. This could be the game. 21-18. Alabama with a three-point lead. Shun the field goal attempt. It's fourth down and two. The tide will go for it, and the stadium stands. Oh, Auburn jumps. Auburn jump. Frank Warren. You know, exactly. they're going to penalize Auburn. But Walter Lewis was moving his head, and that is illegal, and that should be an illegal procedure against Alabama. You are exactly right, Pat Sullivan, because he was bobbing his head back and forth. They called offsetting penalties. We can see it here on the replay. Offsetting penalties. What Lewis was doing. There it is. His head. Yeah. Any infraction in, of his head like that, uh, of course, I don't believe Frank Warren ever touched anybody. Well, we'll just line it up and do it again. Same situation, fourth and two. Lewis! Lewis is stopped back at the 30. Vernon Blackard. Vernon Blackard with perhaps the defensive play of the year. Vernon has played a fine game. It's only fitting that he should have made that tackle. I'll tell you, he's going to be a great player at Auburn before he's through. It's the, the wishbone Alabama's been running. Vernon just comes in and, and just takes on Walter Lewis, gives him a loss, and it's first down Auburn going another way. The sophomore from Gainesville, Texas, makes a huge play with 7.05 remaining in the game. Sullivan, the quarterback. Complete. Byron Franklin. Up to the, oh, incomplete. they say incomplete. And they're right because the ball hit the turf. The officials now say incomplete. He scooped it up, and I hope we have a shot of that, and you'll be able to see it. We can see it on the replay. It was a good call, I think legitimate, because the ball did hit the turf, and I think he short, short hopped it. Yep, there it is. Good call by the officials. I may not know the score, but I did know that. Franklin and Davis to the left. 6.57 left in the game. Second and 10. Huntley in motion. Come, oh, in and out of the hands of Willie Huntley. In and out of the hands of Willie Huntley. Mike Clements, reserve cornerback, was over there and really couldn't haul it in. Well, that, was, that was a tough break for Auburn because Huntley's going to get pretty close to the first down if he doesn't pick it up. 6.52. Alabama will be coming with a blitz here. And I'd be almost willing to bet on it. They're going to try to put all the pressure they can on, on the quarterback and try to force a turnover. Let's see who they send. Third and ten. Joe got away from one man, but not another. Warren Lyles missed him, but Jackie Klein did not. And the Alabama defense with a big defensive stand. Alabama should get the ball with good field position and a three-point lead with six and a half minutes to go in the game. Allen Bollinger, the punter. Major Ogilvy back deep. Good kick. Ogilvy gets away. And he's upended. He's upended by Dan Dickerson. 6-11 remaining in the game. 
Alabama 21, Auburn 18. We'll be right back after this brief timeout. <laughs> 